sorry for the uh, small screen. I had to use my iPhone. Didn't have anything else to use to record with, but uh, my next video will definitely be better and used with actual camera. Yep. Well, here's the tutorial. Hello YouTube, this is Precision Runner, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a mod menu on War at War Zombies without any jailbreak. First off, you're going to need a USB drive. You're going to want to plug it into your PS3. And what you're going to want to do is go to Save Data Utility, PS3, copy over your Call of Duty War at War, save game player profile to your USB. And then you're going to have to go to your computer and uh, edit this file. So I'll meet you on the computer. Now that you're on your computer, you want to get both of these files right here. And after you've got these both downloaded from both of the links that I put in the description, you want to open up your COD5 game save editor. It's right here. After you get that opened up, you want to uh, you want to find your game save that you copied from the PS3 to your USB, which will be in the computer, in whichever you named it. It'll be in PS3, save data. Wait for it to load up. Plus, okay. It'll decrypt. Save game save editing. You want to go to the grad the grad. 0sp.prf all this stuff in here you gotta enable game save editing then you want to completely delete all this then what you want to do which it'll uh, this right you want to enter this in right here copy but you're gonna want to enter control V because it don't let you right click on here at all so you're gonna have to hit control V after you copy or you can just enter that in so you just have to pause the video on this or something anyways then after that you want to go into the root of your flash drive and open up the blue eyes and drag that into there I already got mine in there that's why it's saying this but you're just, you won't have a problem with it and then after that, you want to save all. It'll save it. And then just exit out. And then we need to go back to our PS3. See you there. After you've done everything I told you to do on the computer, then you want to take the USB. This part is very important. You want to see your, uh, where you insert your disk at. And then you want to find your USB drives. And you want to insert the USB on the one closest to your uh, your Blu-ray, which mine will be right here, farthest to the right. Might be right there. You have to have it like that, or it won't work for some odd reason. But then after that, you want to go to your save that utility. Go to your World at War on here already. You want to delete that. And you want to go to your USB, find your World at War one, only one that I have on there. You want to copy that over. And you want to start up War at War. I'm about to set my phone down so I can show you guys there. Once it starts up, all you got to do is click select, and it should say Blue Eyes when it first comes up here in a second. Welcome to Blue Eyes. Welcome to X by Nova's Blue Eyes V2.5. Two, 2 keep going. And it works for online too. I'm just going to Deer Eyes and Solo just to show you guys real quick. 
up and everything. And then he's gonna be up there. I think we need to turn the power on. Right there it is. You got it. Host menu, lobby menu, game menu, weapons menu. You got a lobby menu. Toggle player speed. Move really fast. Toggle player height. To jump really high. Just a second. Probably just have to play around with it. Yeah, you just got to play around with that. I think you gotta turn on no gravity, but uh hope this tutorial helped and uh please like uh comment and uh subscribe and uh i'll be posting a lot more videos uh yep thank you